Where did that dagger go? I have no idea. It was dark and I couldn't see. According to the detective who found the dagger, it was stuck into the pine tree in the garden. Most likely it was flung towards the tree after the struggle. That is the most likely explanation, yes. After being stabbed in the stomach, did the victim collapse right away? Now that I think of it, she seemed to stare at Mystic Maya for a while. And Mystic Maya stood there, not moving an inch. Maybe this this sequence of events did happen, but it's just not Maya. I was honestly thinking that she was just lying about all of it, but I mean, obviously the murder did take place here. And I was imagining it taking place differently, but maybe this is how it happened and she didn't kill herself. But how could this be? Because the only one who could have been channeling her, it wasn't Maya. It had to be Misty, so I don't think this happened. I don't know. It felt for a moment like time had just stopped. But I don't know, she's being really detailed. But then suddenly, as if the spell had worn off, Mystic Elise fell over. Seems like a reasonable story at first. But there's one thing that is completely impossible. The very idea of Maya stabbing someone. That alone is impossible. Which means... This faulty testimony must contain another contradiction down in it somewhere. How many times can you be blamed for murder before people start to just get really suspicious? This is Maya's third time. <laughs> They're probably like, alright guys, like... It's... <laughs> there's gotta be something going on here. <laughs> anyway. Let me look at her autopsy. Stab from the back. Oh, she probably didn't kill herself then. That'd be a weird place to stab yourself. Okay. Well then. Where does she say the stomach part? Was that even in the testimony? God damn it. I, I mean, she doesn't actually say the part about the stomach in the testimony. It was when I pressed this one, where she just says that she stabbed her. I guess I'll present it and Phoenix will just go from there. Objection! Something about you just isn't right today, Iris. Huh? Until now, I didn't think you were the type to make such a careless mistake. However, the testimony you just gave contains quite a few contradictions. What do you mean? What's so wrong about my testimony? According to you... Maya Faye stabbed the victim who had her back to the stone lantern. Correct? Yes, that's right. But in that case, the victim would have been stabbed in the stomach, right? Yes, I think so. But according to the autopsy report, the cause of death was due to blood loss from a stab wound in her back. This proves that the victim was stabbed from behind, not from the front. Sister Iris, it appears another seed of doubt has sprouted from your testimony. What? What is the meaning of this, Mr. Wright? Uh, it's simple. People are like books. We've all got a front and a back. You get my drift? This is true. Uh, is that all you have to say? <laughs> you really got him, Godot. I can also say that darkness loves to play with the human mind. Well, if she couldn't tell a ass from a face, then don't ask her to identify whose face it was. Could you please knock it off with the cheesy proverbs and illogical metaphors already? Please don't. The point is, too much of this testimony just doesn't make sense. Throwing away our useful staff, the people fighting being mother and daughter. And now she falsely claims the victim was stabbed in the stomach? Hmm, there certainly are some inconsistencies. Well, Iris, how about it? Well, it's just... You ask me, you're just being too naive about the whole thing. What do you mean? Speak, boy! There are 253 distinct types of bitterness in coffee. But to pick out each one requires total concentration and the use of all the senses. Were you really concentrating on what this witness actually said? Prosecutor Godot, explain yourself. The witness was quite unambiguous about her own ambiguity. Unambiguous about her own ambiguities when she said that the garden was dark and she couldn't. Then she can't be trusted to identify faces. A human needs one thing to see clearly. And that is light. I was gonna say eyes, but okay. Light. By the way, did you know? The Inner Temple has a rule that on nights when an acolyte is there training, the stone lantern in the garden is to always be lit. 
I did wonder what that stone lantern was there for. It was there to be a lantern? Well, if that's true, shouldn't the witness have been able to see the crime more clearly? Normally, yes, Your Honor. But according to the head nun, Sister Bikini, on the night of the crime, it was impossible to light that stone lantern. Impossible? It hadn't been used in a long time, and the wick was no good. In other words, it had to be nearly pitch black in the garden that night. There could have been a faint light coming from the trading hall, but that's all. Most enlightening. That illuminating fact has chased all the contradictions away. If the staff was dropped, it would be difficult to see. It also explains why they didn't recognize each other. We can't see the demons that lurk in the night. That's why humans are weak. Isn't that a right trite? Uh, no? Yes? Both? No? Here, Your Honor. Let me present the stone lantern into evidence. Maybe it will rekindle the flame of truth in your mind. Why is the judge just sitting there with that look on his face? That's what he always does. What's wrong, Your Honor? Was that flame too hot? This lantern... There's something written on it. It says... I am. Why? It's written in blood! Oh boy! So the judge didn't know about that yet. Written in blood? It... it says... It says Maya upside down. I actually, I honestly expected him to say him to read it wrong, but he got it. Godot can't fucking see shit. This is this happened before with the the apron in case three when it was blood or ketchup. I'm not I don't remember which one it actually was because I don't remember much about that case because it was kind of boring. But whatever it was, like he couldn't see it. I thought he was just being stupid at the time, because, like, the characters in these games just say weird things and say things that are dumb and, like, are just strange. So I just thought he was just him being dumb. But now that he just had that, he couldn't see that blood, I just realized that he couldn't see that back then either. So he apparently has problems seeing red, I guess? That's weird, because he said he can't see fully. Maybe it's specifically red that he can't see. Huh. I mean, he said there was a blood stain on that dagger. He knew that because he fucking did it. He planted that. Iris, after. Uh, bleh. I don't whatever. I don't know if there's any other times in the games where he's pointed out anything red. I don't know. She must have been writing that on the stone lantern behind her with the blood that was draining out of her body. Well, if they couldn't fucking see each other's faces, how'd she know what name to write? Objection. Hang on, hang on, just a minute. He didn't know about this at all. Eh, it's a shame. You shouldn't have had shitty eyesight then, buddy. It's your own fault. <laughs> what are we all talking about? We're talking about the message written in blood. Nonsense. This lantern. It's as clean as a whistle. He can't see shit. Haha, -ha, you're blind. That's funny. <laughs> Could it be? <laughs> he can't see the bloody writing at all? Now that I think of it, he did say something. Yeah? Oh, no, you're thinking of yesterday. My eyes, yep. Even with these huge goggles on my head, I still can't see everything. Well. So that's what he meant by that. In any case, this is obviously an important clue. We now know that the crime scene was dark. And that the victim scrawled this message on the stone lantern. Well, Mr. Godot, anything further? Mr. Godot? Um. Okay, then. Let's move on. Godot is literally shaking. Oh, my God. <laughs> that, in, that, in 2017, that is a phrase that... <laughs> it's just very different than it was in 2004. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then just ignore me. <laughs> I believe it has now been established that Miss Donum was killed by Maya Faye. It has not. That's just wrong. Now it's time to turn our attention to you. Yes, sir. After the victim died, you did. How are we going to prove anything? We don't. I still have a lot of questions. 
I don't even know any of it. How am I going to prove any of it? What now? Sister Iris's cover-up. Okay. After Mystic Elise died, I called out to Mystic Maya. I thought it was my duty to protect the future master of the Korean tradition. So I removed the body from the inner temple by myself. Okay. I dragged it behind me all the way across Dusky Bridge. Then I used the snowmobile to carry it back to Hazakura Temple. She... Who... The snowmobile thing, that was a while ago. Who brought it out there in the first place? I don't know. I used the Shichishito to alter the way she, the wound looked. So you moved the body? Yes, I was raised at Hazakura Temple. I owe a great deal of thanks to the Fey Clan. But even so, I never imagined... that Elise Donum was actually Misty Fey. I've committed a terrible sin. A terrible trick of fate. I believe you're looking for a twist of fate, Your Honor. I intended to return to the Inner Temple after taking care of the body, but... You were spotted by the head nun, correct? Yes, and that's why I couldn't go back. Your story makes sense, I suppose. Mr. Wright, go ahead with your cross-examination. Well, the one thing that did jump out at me is the snowmobile. I just don't actually remember any of the details about the snowmobile, so I'm just going to present the picture and hope that Phoenix knows what he's talking about, which sometimes he does, so hey, let's get to that. Dragged it behind you, next one. Yeah. Something about the snowmobile. Which one is it? Tracks photo. Your Honor, what do you think about the witness's statement? Uh, I'm not sure I follow you. It clearly, uh... Oh, fuck. Well, okay. Maybe I should have pressed it first. Okay, well, fine. You want to be that way? Objection overruled. Well, then... I'll press it, then. The snowmobile. I knew that would show up sooner or later. Yes, I had the key. I used the snowmobile to travel from Hazakura Temple to Dusky Bridge. This is the part that was in question the other day. Okay, so she brought it out. Okay. I got it. I'm remembering. It's fine. Because with all the confusion with Iris and Dahlia and who's who and wh who's where... It's hard to keep track of it all, especially when you play in short increments over many, many days. Uh... About the snowmobile or the tracks? I mean... What would we say about the snowmobile? The tracks? Is it another case of it being covered up by the snow? I can't remember all that shit, man. Ask about the tracks. <laughs> If you really did move her body by snowmobile, then there should be tracks left in the snow. With this, we, this was the last trial. We've already done all this. Well, yes, I know you weren't here for that. None of you were. This picture was presented at yesterday's trial. Are these the tracks from that ride? Yes, I think they are. But I can only see one set of tracks here. I don't see what's so strange about that. Snow is still falling when I left Hazakura Temple. I see, snow was still falling, huh? And then when the murder took place, it had already stopped. That's why there are such fresh-looking tracks. How about it, Mr. Wright? What do you think? I don't know, man. I guess it's important. When the murder took place, the snow had already stopped. That doesn't make sense to me. Does it not? I can't remember. <laughs> Your Honor, I'd like to say... Uh, I'm so glad I'm not in a position like this in real life. I'd be... Uh, I'd be totally screwed. I'd be like, uh, the, 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 the snowmobile tracks, your honor. You know about them. This should be fun. You, let's get this snow business cleared up, shall we? Yes, sir. What are you adding to your testimony? Okay. Yeah, we talked about that for a long time. 
before. So, this is the statement that's important, because it's the one that was just added. Is it this again? We presented this like four times in the last trial. <sighs> Snow from 7 to 10.50. I don't even care. I'm, I'm not going to try and figure it out in my head. Just present it. See what happens. The witness's statement is clearly faulty, Your Honor. Well, well, God damn it. I guess I'll press it then. There have been a lot of contradictions in your testimony so far. This time, are you sure it's all true? Yes, I am. When the murder happened, the snow had already stopped. According to you, that's why the snowmobile tracks were so clear. That's right. I'm certain of it. I think I've trapped her this time. I have? I don't know what's happening. I've presented things early, twice in a row. What is going on here? If the snow really had stopped by the time of the murder, it'd mean there's a bigger hole in this. What? Is that like the Matrix Revolutions? Oh! I really had to think about that one for a second. I was like, what the hell are you talking about? I get it, because that movie is stupid and doesn't make any sense. I get it. The grid. Clever. That is a clever one, guys. Well then, Mr. Trites, perhaps you'd like to share your theory with us. Let's see what's up your sleeve, or rather at the end of your index finger. I don't know. I've lost the plot. <laughs> I don't want to believe it, but I don't think my logic is failing me. Mine is. Iris is trying to pin the murder on Maya. But why would she want to do that? There's only one reason I can think of. Because Godot's ass. The fuck am I supposed to do? <laughs> Dragged it behind me, the dusky bridge. Dude, I mean, this is the one that was added. Um... Let's look at the... Well, presenting the weather data was wrong, but let's look at it again. Maybe I can try and get this straight in my mind. Uh, okay, hold on. <laughs> I know, I'm being stupid, but I... It's hard to keep track. That doesn't help. 10 to 11. Okay. 7 to 10.50. Lightning was 10 to 11. Lightning struck the bridge at 10.45. Could it be that? The fact that the... She said that she had to drag the body across the bridge. Yeah, 30 minutes passed, because I remember that. I remember them saying it would go to 11.15. So yeah, I don't think you could have dragged it across the bridge. That's what it is. Okay, I might have been it. That might have been the right thing to present, but I did it on the wrong one. We'll try it there. Go. Don't be too early again, please. All right, I got it. That just isn't possible. What? This is the weather data from the night of the murder. According to this, the snow didn't stop until 10:50 p.m. Uh. But you couldn't have crossed Dusky Bridge at that time. Why do you say that? Because five minutes before the snow stopped, Dusky Bridge was struck by lightning and it caught on fire. What did you say? The bridge? It was on fire? You didn't know that at all? You don't mean to say you didn't know about it? It was because of that lightning strike that the bridge burned down. What? But it can't. It can't be. How did you not know about that? No matter how hard you try to deceive or conceal the truth, you can't pull the wool over the eyes of a real defense attorney. Tell her. Order, order, order. The bridge was already on fire when the incident took place. That's right, the inner temple was already totally cut off from the outside world. There's no way she could have crossed the bridge, body or no body. Uh, huh. Witness even my patience has its limits. Any further lying, and I will find you in contempt of court. Do you have anything to say for yourself? Uh, 
What? And the only person here that is truly contemptible is you. Who, me or the judge? Old man. Me? How dare you? Whether this witness lied or not doesn't mean squat right now. Excuse me? The important thing now is to find out the truth. And we can't do that if she's lying! Yes, of course, but... Whether it was snowing or not snowing, or whether the bridge was burning or not, there are two facts that can't be disputed. First, the body of Elise Donum was discovered in the Hazakura Temple Courtyard. This is a fact. And second, the head nun, Sister Bikini, witness Iris desecrating Elise Donum's body. Or I- or Dahlia, no. No, it was Iris. I guess. Probably. He makes a good point, on both accounts. That's right. I'm not lying. What are you claiming this time? I wasn't myself at all that night, so my memory is still somewhat hazy. 